Oh, there it is. Perfect. Yeah. Look at the She's picking the Arbutus up. Yeah, let's do it. We'll throw it. Now, can it go flat, do you think? Like, like flat ways? Because it'll actually, it should bump up on these too. Okay, friends, I'll be back oh, in a minute. Here, stop it right there. I think we can get it. We can. So, here, I'll well, go. Let's get it set up. I'll go one end here and we can push it forward and just get it to flop. Yeah. So, let's get all our wood set up. There we go. Okay. Let's do it by hand. That's it. That is absolutely it. That's all we need. No, it is all we need. That's better than actually what it was going to be. Oh, got her. Yeah, that's why we put that one there. See that? Perfect. It stopped that little thing. So we're right up in the air. Yeah, it was worth the hassle. Can I untie? Yes, you can untie. So, friends, we took, what did we take? 15 minutes? 15, 20, yeah. 15, 20 minutes, locked in the hubs. Friends, I can't tell you how heavy that wood is. Well, I can actually, that's quite heavy. That's two cubic meters right there. That is a heavy piece of wood. So here's why we done that. See, this is all bucked, right friends? It's all bucked, but it's not bucked through because of course it's a power saw job and you don't want to buck to the dirt. These guys are qualified men, these tree workers. They've been doing this their whole lives. See all their woods, nice, con consistent. Everything's bucked, it's cleaned up. But of course we all know that there comes a time if you're on the ground, you got to stop bucking and make a plan like this somehow. So that's why I spend time prepping work. It's always in the prep. You prep for 10, 15 minutes like Batman. and you'll bypass the guy that just went flying at it the way it was in the dirt. You'll bypass it's him. It's like Batman. He doesn't have any superpowers. That's it. But he's got time for preparation. He does, he sonny. comes out on top. He does so. So... That is my story and I'm sticking right to it, okay? Okay. We're just gonna get that one to do a quick roll. Nothing drastic. Okay, you're tight. Keep her going. Deadly. Perfect. bring out the big mac today friends not every day yeah i want to give the mac a little go on this big arbutus it's not it's not every day you get out in it so i thought we would do so oh yeah we're gonna get some so hogan what hogan's got here right now nick had it 
It's a, it's, what is it, son? It's a Dalmar PS9000. Ah, okay. From the 1990s. Apparently, they're quite good songs. Okay, did you do some research on it? Uh, no, but I was talking to Andrew, and he was saying that these are quite a, uh, quite a sought after piece of equipment for the Dalmar guy. Oh, okay. These were one of the better songs. These in the 90s, I think it was. Yes. 90 but Kenzie's has one, that blue one. Yeah, well, what's the that one I got? 93 I got, maybe. Yeah. What's mine, a 93 10? That's a 7910. Oh, 7910, yeah. yeah. So, Hogan, we got a muffler on this, Dalmar, friends. We put a little... Yeah, that's right. We should, we should almost have a race. Yeah. That thing sounds mean. Oh dear. Oh dear.
probably saw that last buck, the log did a little watoozy. And we forgot to put a stopper on the back of it, so it's on the ground again. But we will prevail. Old Clifford, the big red truck there. That's a good name for that thing, actually. The big red truck? It's Clifford. Actually, Clifford, somebody mentioned that. You remember Clifford? Call it Clifford for now. Old Cliff. You guys remember that show? If you got kids, Clifford the Big Red Dog. I used to love that when I was a little guy. I mean, I'm still a little guy, but. There you are. Shut that door for you. All right, let's see what we can do. Come on. Perfect. Perfect. That's awesome. Do we want one more? Do we want it to roll again? I think we do. You know the beautiful thing about we probably could. I think we do almost and though. It would lay, yeah, our only fear now is it coming too far and going right over Yeah, there? I'd say we just prop her up and, and buck there. Right here? Yeah. I mean, we've got a beautiful fulcrum. Yeah, I think we're good. But it's set up pretty nice. We are, but it wouldn't hurt, buddy, because it would lay it on the on the hump, you know. But then it has a chance to roll. Yeah, I say we leave it how it is. It's pretty sturdy. Should we get cocky? Nah, nah. You know what I'm going to do? We're going to bring that to right there, and I'll do it. You just stay right where you are, and you film. I'll show you what we're going to do. Okay, I'm gonna put this, actually, I might not even need you. This might work on its own. You wanna see secret, secret business here? <laughs> this is how you think when you're out in the bush. Okay, so you guys saw the last video yesterday um, of this crazy muffler. This is a prototype for the P51. This is a ported saw from Iron Horse. That man right there, highly recommend his work. All right.
crazy. It pulls like mad. saws are uh, are glorious uh, I'm really impressed with that 51 holy freaking cow I got another 51 to run it's Nix and I think I'll do it uh, right away here it's a p52 actually partner and I'm gonna give it a run right now uh, what do you got a dull file okay friend so here's Nix it, it's it's a really neat saw it's a p52 high performance which is kind of a rare saw they made them they had those high performance ben how are you doing buddy ben you're at buck and stock and you brought some amazing saws along with darren lafald my buddies i hope you guys make it to buck and stock boy oh boy it's going to be a good one this year if this uh worldly thing we're going through right now doesn't get straightened out that would suck for buck and stock but there's a reason for everything that's right anyway let's uh let's i want you guys to see the saw it's Compression button. telling you friends that saw right now is it's struggling it's a stock saw okay I'm gonna put you closer it's a stock saw it's a it's a 52 p52 it's, which is a bigger stronger saw out of the factory than the p51 if I'm not mistaken don't quote me but I think it is 
but when you crank on the high jet, it seems to rev way up. That's not necessarily a good thing. We're gonna check something out. Okay, friends, I just want to have something to compare to these bigger saws with this little 38 that we got, the P38. So here we go. It's got a full house hand file on it. You can feel it right when you pick it up with the long bar that it's tip heavy because the power head's lighter. You know what I mean? It's a smaller saw, but it's, it's beautiful and wicked and special.
know, friends. We all live in a beautiful, beautiful place. All of us, all the friends I know in Norway, Sweden, Scotland, Ireland, Japan, Australia, New Zealand, British Columbia, supernatural British Columbia. Indiana, Mishawaka, Indiana, Wisconsin, Minnesota, only to name a few of the beautiful, beautiful places in the world that we live. And we've been surprised with something recently in our current events that has, I don't know, I, I don't know what it's done really, but I know that I was finding, cleaning out my shop with my power saws and uh, I come across this beautiful, beautiful Sager, friends. She's a Sager. And I'll tell you, it, uh, it's got like this splitting profile and not to mention a wonderful throwing uh, length of a bar and it look at that oh it's just it's deadly if you've never swung an axe with with the proper geometry friends uh, th this is it this is it right here this is the one, okay? So friends, no one really, uh, I just wanted to pop in in this video at the end of this video and and wish everybody a, a, a happy day you know um <laughs> my dad comes up here every couple of wednesdays and, and and thursdays around there friday now but and asks us if we need eggs and there's an egg farm down here and uh he goes down and he grabs us a 24 pack of of, of eggs friends okay Well, they're shut down. <laughs> they're shut down. Um, Hogan's out looking at tree work. Rita's with her boyfriend. And and my wife's in the house, uh, tearing the house apart. She's going to paint. <laughs> We're doing a little reno in there. So, and I'm out. I'm, I'm trying to busy my time in a way. I'm, I'm, I'm super positive. I'm not, I, I don't freak out, friends. It's just not in my nature. I, 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 I don't. I'm happy that my reverse brakes. Did you see in the video that my reverse lights work in, with this, in this crew cab, friends? Did you notice that? I don't have trucks that work like that usually. That's pretty cool. <laughs> so anyway, friends, I, I'm kind of speechless because I, I, I don't freak out. I, I, I don't because I, I was going to say that a couple of seconds ago, but I got sidetracked. Um, whatever. Because cause here's the deal, if you think about it. What you, you, whatever you're thinking inside your head is probably, it, it might not be, but, but most likely, 99%, and this is a fact, this is a fact, 99.9% .9 of all fears created in our mind do not come true. <laughs> they don't. They don't don't friends what do you feel right now what what do you feel not not what do you think what do you feel and another thing what can you do what can you do about what's going on do you know what i can do um i see an opportunity here friends to be selfless.
Not selfish, selfless. Maybe, I mean, you can't go running out really and helping people because they want you to kind of keep to yourself a bit. And I, and I understand that. I, I understand that. But if you're in your mind playing out all these scenarios that you think are going to happen or you think that could happen, um, I would I would bet to guess that 99% of them are not going to come true because that's a fact. I love you people. I, I truly do. I love I love everybody that comes to this to this community, to this channel. I've not spoken on this yet because I don't know what to say because I, I don't I'm not a freaker. I don't I don't I don't freak out. And and I, I, I I'm not knowledgeable enough on anything as far as those types of things are concerned. I'm truly not, friends, because it means nothing to me. And and for me, friends, to to say that that uh you know, everybody's got an opinion, friends. Everybody's got an opinion on, on, on everything. Well, I, I don't have an opinion or one that I'd like to share because it, it doesn't really mean anything, friends. <laughs> it doesn't. I, I, but, but I do have, I, I, you know, I have people close in my life that, that, that create, I call it self-persecution, to be honest with you. I do. That's what I call it. I, I call it persecuting yourself. With your th with your thoughts and oh my gosh my this and that no just no so friends if if just say that this was the way things had to go like say say there was a, a, a rule a written rule that um someone someone said that's a nice axe to throw isn't it yeah, uh, yeah. uh someone said listen that man over there in the poolan hat what he says you have to do and and it may not come to you right away, but 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 you have to nip it in the bud. You have to, you know, consciously just each time it comes, you have to do it and do what he says. So if that's you with those persecuting thoughts, friends, and I'm the guy in the Poulan hat, by the way, and nice shot, kid. Uh, it, you would say, he would say to you, when those thoughts come in, you say, go away. Nope, no, get out of here, get, friends. I'm not joking, you. I've d I've done it, and I still do it. So if that's you that self-persecuting yourself and you had to listen to what I say was the law, <laughs> which is fantasy, I would say, knock it off. That's what I would say to you. So when they come in, tell them to hit the road. Say it. Nope. Hit the road. That's how I quit smoking. Back to that guy in the Poulan hat. Friends. So some people get a payoff in madness and chaos. Some people enjoy it. I don't. Not me. I, I'm, I'm not that kind of feller. But but I don't want to go too far into this because like I said, I, I don't really know enough about it. Uh, but what I do know is that I am trying to do my part as best as I can to the suggestions from the powers to be to, to, to us, the citizens, of, of things to do. So I will continue to do that. Um, but along the way, I won't self-persecute myself. I won't do it. I will live in the sunshine. I will live in happiness and I will live in selflessness. Maybe, how can I be of service in this? You know, there's that old saying, some people are meant to be leaders. Some people are meant to be followers and other people are meant to be this and that. And guys on the work crew, well, he's better on the spoon. Put him in the ditch. That guy's a machine operator. That guy's, a, he can run the crew. He's level-headed. He's a good guy. He's good people. Do you know what I mean? It's called putting people where they belong. I, we, we, we knew a guy here. Uh, I know a fella. Uh, he runs a wonderful, successful company in town, and, and uh, he's respected by many, many men. And he was the kind of fellow that could come onto a job site, literally, friends. He, he would come onto a job site, and he would know exactly before he got into the center of the site. He knew what was going on. He knew who wasn't doing, doing proper. He knew who was doing a good job. He knew what was going on. He scanned the program, and he knew where to put people. He just knew he could see it. So, I don't know what this has to do with anything, but I know where I belong. That's what I'm saying to you. I know where I belong. 
And I know that self-persecution doesn't work and that 99% of the fears that we think about and create in our mind come from our mind, not our heart. Not our heart. I'm using this as an opportunity to do a few things around the house. I'm just going to kick back, but I will not persecute myself. And if there's anything that, that you can take from this video, besides them wonderful big power saws that we're running, is feel and don't think. And try not to be selfish. Oh, woe is me. And what about me? And oh my this. And I can't do this. And I can't do that. And I can't have this. And I can't have that. How about... How can I help that person? Friends, food, shelter, and clothing. Think about it. This too shall pass. And I am rambling right now. There's no question about it. I am rambling. But I have the time to do that right now. And I, I don't know what you're going through. I don't, I, I can't feel for you. So when people say, oh, I feel for you. No, you don't feel for me. No, you don't. Don't, don't say you feel for me or I know what you're talking about or I understand. No, you don't. And nor do I understand what you're going through. It's not what I'm saying. We can empathize. We can, we can try and get out of ourselves and put ourselves in your shoes and think, damn, that must suck or, or that's, that's rough or, oh, well, you know what I mean? Like you, you, you can't feel for me and I can't feel for you. Friends, this will pass on by. It's going to pass on by. Did somebody say there was a party going on? Listen, friends, I got to drift on. I've been here a long, long time now. Bucking hasn't let me out of the house. I got to get going, friends. I got to drift on. The sun's out. The highway's calling me. My bike is my friend and the highway is my brother. Friends, drift on. Keep on rolling. Be positive and get out of yourself and see if you can help somebody out because we're all going to wake up tomorrow and the sun's going to be shining or the rain's going to be dropping. Drift on.